Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by my shop. Since I rearranged my shop this year and built the 4 by 8 foot work table you see behind the table saw, I now can handle ripping sheet goods on the table saw with no problem. Cross cutting, however, still is a problem even with the extension I've got on the side. I'm still uncomfortable trying to cross cut full sheets of plywood. I've been using one of these clamps as a guide cross-cut sheet goods with the circular saw. I thought there just had to be a better way. What I've come up with is a base for my circular saw. Very simple to make. It slides in the groove slides in the groove on these clamps. It helps control the circular saw very well. I'd like to show you how I built that today. The circular saw I use is a basic corded model. We only need three pieces for this project. A piece of quarter inch plywood to serve as the base and two pieces of oak with a rabbit that will hold the saw to the base. The left piece has a notch to clear the tilt guide on the saw. Each piece has two holes that are threaded for 1032 machine screws. The oak pieces are glued, pinned, and clamped to the plywood base. Two pieces of three quarter inch angle aluminum that is one sixteenth of an inch thick will guide the saw in the groove on the clamp. The aluminum pieces are screwed down with four flathead washer screws. I mark the base for a cutout for the blade guard. I used a grinder to smooth the end of four machine screws. The one on the left is before smoothing, on the right is after. The screws were then used to secure the saw in the base. Then I cut the kerf in the base and realized the cutout for the blade guard would be so big that it eliminated having a zero clearance kerf in the base. I'd rather have the blade guard. Oh well. The 
The first test cut. The saw slides smoothly in the slot on the clamp. I measured the offset from the clamp to the cut for future reference in positioning the clamp. I repositioned the clamp and made a cut from the left side of the saw. It works just great also. Here is a close up of the True Grip clamping tool guides I'm using. I put a coat of face wax on the bottom of the base and I'm calling that project done. I would like to have a track saw, one of the big ones, but I just can't justify the expense of it no more than I would use it, quite honestly. This was simple to make. I had everything I needed except the aluminum angle. I bought that at the home center for less than four dollars. A little bit of wood, a little bit of plywood, some screws and glue. So for less than four dollars I've got something that works for me. It's going to make it easier for me to cross cut sheet goods and I'm pleased. There are several other brands of these clamps that you might be able to use if you have them to make a similar guide for your circular saw. Instead of a clamp, if you don't have one, you could probably also use a maybe a six inch piece of plywood, cut a rabbit on the bottom edge of it to position another piece of angle, screw it in place. You'd probably have to countersink the screws on the back, but that wouldn't be a problem. And use that in place of the clamp with the with a guide similar to this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and y'all have a great day.